A hometown welcome at the Democratic National Convention for former President Barack Obama. All right. America's ready for a new chapter. America's ready for a better story. We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris. Obama drew a direct comparison between Harris and her Republican opponent, former President Donald Trump. Kamala Harris won't be focused on her problems. She'll be focused on yours. As president, she won't just cater to her own supporters and punish those who refuse to kiss the ring or bend the knee. She'll work on behalf of every American. That's who Kamala is. Obama was introduced by his wife, Michelle, who said Harris's shortened campaign season should encourage Democrats to work even harder to elect her. We cannot indulge our anxieties about whether this country will elect someone like Kamala instead of doing everything we can to get someone like Kamala elected. Although Democrats already formalized their nomination process earlier this month, a ceremonial roll call of states. Great state of Alabama proudly cast 56 votes for the first black woman president of the United States of America. Showed the enthusiasm of Democrats for their new nominee. All 34 of our votes for our next black woman and first South Asian president, Harris. Harris thanked delegates remotely from her rally in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So to everyone in Chicago and across America, thank you. Thank you. Democrats also heard from Harris's husband, who called his wife a joyful warrior. She'll lead from the belief that wherever we come from, whatever we look like, we're strongest when we fight for what we believe in, not just against what we fear. The second night of the convention also featured former members of the Trump administration and Republican officials who have endorsed Harris. Trump made a lot of lofty promises, unlimited economic growth, American manufacturing reborn, a secure border. Turns out Donald Trump was all talk. On Wednesday, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will address delegates formally accepting the party's nomination for vice president. Catherine Gibson at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, VOA News.